This is the story of Blinky Bill and Flap and Nutsy too. And Wombo, Ruff and Marcia and Splodge the Kangaroo. Now they all live in Green Patch Town as happy as can be. With friends and neighbours all around, the same as you and me. But it's not always fun and games for Blinky and his crew. Disasters shouldn't happen, but alas, they sometimes do. There's mysteries and secrets out there amongst the trees. And nobody needs enemies when you've got friends like these. Hey, hey, Blinky Bill, you'll never catch him standing still. Life is pretty boring till you've met Blinky Bill. Hey, hey, Blinky Bill, our cheeky mate from Green Patch Hill. If you don't know him, you soon will. Good old Blinky Bill. So come and see what happens next to Blinky and his friends. But ten to one, you'll never guess the way the story ends. Our little mischief maker, the one who never fails. Enjoy his great adventures in these new exciting tales. Hey, hey, Blinky Bill, you'll never catch him standing still. Life is pretty boring till you've met Blinky Bill. Hey, hey, Blinky Bill, our cheeky mate from Green Patch Hill. If you don't know him, you soon will. Stones! Ooh, I want a rest. Oh, don't be such a wimp. My feet hurt too and you don't hear me complaining. Yeah, your feet don't hurt as much as my feet. That's because your feet are so big. Oh, I wish we had one of those human calves. Well, we could always hijack one. Yeah, we could flag one down like this and haul them out and drive it off ourselves. Mm, not many cars around here, but we could use some sort of transport. <laughs> like a boat. No water. Well, a bicycle? <laughs> We'd need seven bikes. Oops, <laughs> oh, sorry. I, I didn't mean it. Hey, watch it, kid. Look what you did, kid. Sorry again, old man. Don't call me old man, kid. Well, don't call me kid, old man. Excuse me, sir. Can you tell us where... I wouldn't tell a koala anything. No manners. No excuses. No brains. Oh, I'm not going any further. We've got to keep going. I wish we could ride on one of those funny-looking clouds up there. Oh, it would be lovely. Drifting along in the air. Not in any hurry. Going wherever the breeze blows. Oh, just think lying back on the soft Spongy. You're soft and spongy, Nutsy. <sighs> Miss Magpie says you'll fall right through the clouds if you try to ride them. Yeah, what would she know, silly old hen? Don't you be mean about Miss Magpie, Splodge. If it what? wasn't for her, we wouldn't know much. Now, would we? If it wasn't for her, we wouldn't be lost. We're not lost. We're going home, remember? On one of those, we could see our home. Oh, more silly cloud time! Look, they're not clouds. So, what are they then? There are some creatures inside. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's catch them. I'd love to have a go at that. Wouldn't you, Splodge? Well, sure would, Blinky. Oh, but we can't. They're up there and we're down here. Well, they have to come down sometime. Oh, this is ridiculous. Yeah. We'll never catch them. Is that so? <laughs> well, take a look at that. Wow! <sighs> look at this. <laughs> yes, and if we can get it free of the tree, the creatures might come back and take us up to look for our home. Uh, to the right, Winky. Yeah, that's it. Up that bit more. <laughs> I can't reach it. Climb up there, 
together. Oh, I can't. The branch will break. Oh, silly creatures. Can't they say Nancy is too heavy for the job? Just what we thought. So, you might as well just get away. Or find someone lighter. Yeah, boy. Who's going to be stupid enough to crawl out on that wobbly, skinny, weak... You! You're always saying how brave you are. Uh, uh, yeah, but, uh, you see... Oh, isn't that the creatures coming back? We'd better get out of here. No way! I can't see any creatures, Marcia. Not a one. Oh, no! We must have your mice of good hearing. The creatures are on the way back. Well, in that case, you'd better hurry. Unless you're scared. Marcia's not scared of anything, are you, Marcia? Uh, uh, of course not. Oh, well, there's no problem then. I'll do it in a minute, Blinky, but uh, I don't climb trees. I'm not a koala, so that's it. Sorry, and all that. Ah, uh, oh, you. Oh, just as well I can carry you then, isn't it? Yeah, I'll tie this around you. You'll feel safer. But the 
depends on where you're sitting. You're a bit slow, old man. What? Oh, brother. Now that flying platteroo is calling me old man. Oh, look at that hill, Blinky. Which one? The one with that strange pile of rocks on top. So? What about it? Doesn't it look awfully familiar? My dear Nazi, how could it look familiar? We've never been up here in a balloon before. I just feel as if I've seen it before. That, that creek and the trees. And that village in the clearing. Well, doesn't it remind you of somewhere? Uh, where? Uh, a dump? Blinky, look there. Isn't that green patch? Hey, Nazi, <laughs> that's green patch down there. It is. It is. We're home. <laughs> I can see our house. Mum! Mum! There's Miss Magpie, too. Yoo-hoo! Miss Magpie, we're up here. Oh, she'll never hear that. We'll have to call together. One, two, three. Miss Magpie! Miss Magpie! Miss Magpie! We're up here! Miss Magpie! Oh, she didn't hear us. The silly old hen didn't hear us. Right. You still haven't learned any manners, kid. No, but we're in trouble and could use a hand, old man. Right. I can see that, kid. <laughs> oh, Blinky, don't worry about him. We have to drop a note or something. That's just what I was going to say. Here, now hurry, or it'll be too late. Thanks, Marcia. Now, uh, what shall I say? We are safe. We are up in a balloon. We can't come down. Hurry! That should do it. Oh, no, it landed in a tree. Oh, I reckon it went down the chimney at our house. No, it went in the water. Wouldn't have done us any good if they had. They'd never get us down. Oh dear. Fishing isn't much fun anymore without my little mate Blinky. Oh, I used to reckon he was a pest, but I wouldn't say a word against him if he'd just come back and play one of his tricks now. Like stealing bait or throwing odd things in the water to scare the fish. It... Ooh, my goodness. What was that? Uh, hang on. We are safe. Up in a balloon. Can't come down. Well, bless my soul. This is Blinky's writing. And this pencil, it looks like the one I gave Marcia for her birthday. There's the place I shaved the wood and wrote her name. Wait, wait a minute, Marcia and Blinky? Up in a balloon? Huh? Excuse me. Is Blinky a very cheeky koala? Yes. Right. Then that's him and his mates up there in a balloon. Right. I've been keeping an eye on them. Right. But I can't keep up. He damaged my tail feathers. Oh, maybe we'll get down soon. <sighs> Not till after the storm. What storm? It isn't going to storm. You were saying, Blinky? Well, it won't storm very much. Mm, it's gonna get dark soon. Well, I say, uh, the children are in some kind of trouble. Yes. Why? <laughs> because pencils drop out of the sky? <laughs> yes. And because a vagabond cockatoo said so? <laughs> oh, is anyone at home in there, Mr. Mayor? This is my Marcia's pencil. 
And why should anyone else be chopping? That's enough. Listen, now, since the wind is blowing that way, the balloon must be travelling over towards Dead Tree Ridge. We've got to follow them as soon as we can. Settles it. We'll have to wait until the storm is over. No, 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 no. Ah, we should go now. No. Yes. Silence, everybody. Uh, the mayor has a point. We can't hope to find them while this rain is blotting everything out. Ah, but if we wait, we won't know where they've gone. I want to volunteer. I mean, it was my fault. The children were lost in a way. I can fly after them. Okay, I'll organise a search party to follow you. I'll mark the trail for you. I'll, I'll drop feathers along the way. That's a very brave and generous offer, Miss Magpie, and I'm sure we all thank you from the bottom of our hearts. If you can follow the wind and try and leave us some signs along the way, we'll follow on foot as fast as we can. We've stopped. I wouldn't be too sure about that. Oh, it's a long way down. Everyone, just stay very still. Dear, we'll never find them or the teacher either. Oh my, we'll have to train another teacher. Oh, oh shut up, Big Beak. I want my shifty back. Here? Now, Ma, we're all upset. I hope we're going the right way. I found a magpie feather. Hey, hey, hey. And here's another one. Good boy. Hey. Follow those feathers. Oh, quick, quick, oh, let's get going. going. <laughs> I told you they'd find us and there was nothing to worry about. Oh, the branch is about to give way. Wow. <laughs> that was great flying. <laughs> oh, phew! Good old Miss Magpie! <laughs> ah, hold on, children! Quick, kid! Grab the rope! Grab the bush, Flap! Fast! I can't hold on! 
<laughs> Step this way, kid. Why, thank you, old man. Uh, I mean, <laughs> sir. We'll never find them. Ah, well. Ah, hello, Nutsy. Oh, Miss Magpie, it's so good to see you. Huh? Oh, hello, Mousia. <laughs> it's good to see all of you again. <laughs> hey, Miss Magpie, what happened to your tail? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I... Blinky Bill, how often have I told you it's rude to make personal remarks? Well, I... Hooray! We found them. And they seem to be all right. Hooray! Yes, yes, hooray! <laughs> this calls for a speech. Oh, no, it doesn't. That's right, Wombo. It calls for a party. A party? <laughs> 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 Oh, yes, but I could do without the balloons. <laughs> ah! oh, oh, oh. Get him a balloon, Blinky. <laughs> Here, Marcia, have a frozen ice cream. Ah. Ah. <clears throat> Speech time. <laughs> your mayor, I'm proud of the way you all followed me to save the children. Yes, I know I'm a hero, but I am... Ah, rubbish! The real heroine is Miss Magpie. Ah, well, her gosh. <laughs> birds of a feather stick together. <laughs> More like birds without feathers stick together. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't very nice, Blinky. It was just a joke, Wombo. Right, don't call him Wombo. Right, kid. Right. Don't call me kid, old man. <laughs> ah, well, it's good to see the old Blinky is back. <laughs> <laughs> Stretched round them far and wide, and Flappy nearly fainted. We're completely lost, he cried. You want to know what happened then? Keep watching and you'll see. Here comes the next adventure of the Linky Bill. Linky Bill. Linky Bill. That's me. Yahoo, did we do? Linky Bill and all his crew. Nutsy Flap and Marsha too. And Spodge the Kangaroo. Watch the Kangaroo. Watch the Kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> 